So we're going over the practice for generate patterns, graph ordered pairs, and describe the relationship between corresponding terms. First, we're going to look at the location of point K on the coordinate plane below. Right, you're answering the blank. So we always start at the origin. We're going to go over 5, up 4, or up 3, sorry. Over 5, up 3. So our coordinates are going to be 5, 3. Remember, run before you jump. Uh, there's a couple different sayings you can do. X before Y, 5, 3. Uh, so now we need order pairs for the group T. So we're going to go over 2, up 6. So coordinate or order pairs are going to be 2, 6. U is 3, 4. V, we're going to go over 6, up 2. And W is just up, so it's going to be 0, 2. Okay. Next, we're going to look at the pattern below. A, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Pattern B, 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. The rule for pattern A is multiply by 2. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16, so that's not going to work. Roll for pattern B is add 12. 12 plus 12 is 24. 24 plus 12 is 36. 36 plus 12 is 48. 48 plus 12 is 60. So that's a good answer. Each term in pattern A is three times the corresponding term of pattern B. So 12 times 3 is 36. It's not 4, so that is not correct. Uh, it could be one-third, so A is one-third of B. Each term in pattern B is A more than the corresponding term in pattern A. So if we look at B, 4 plus 8 is 12, that is correct. 8 plus 8 is 16, not 24, so that works only for the first pair, but not the rest. So B will be the only good answer for number 3. Next, Miss Brogan makes number patterns. Pattern A starts at 0, and the rule add 10. Pattern B starts at 0, and the rule add 2. Write the first five terms of each pattern. How are the corresponding terms related? So I'm going to start with A, and I start with 0 and add 10. So 0, 10, 10 plus 10 is 20, 30, First five terms, one, two, three, four, five. So there's all five. Pattern B starts at zero. Zero plus two, four, six, eight. So that's the first five. How are they related? So pattern A. Is. So 2 times 5 is 10, 4 times 5 is 20, 6 times 5 is 30, 8 times 5 is 40. So pattern A is 5 times the corresponding term in pattern B. So another way you can write that is pattern B is one-fifth the corresponding term of pattern A. So either way, pattern B is one-fifth. Some of the kids look at it that way, and some of it do it the multiply times. It doesn't matter. All right, next, 
we have a small play nacho cost five dollars a super nacho cost nine dollars at the cardinals baseball game mr licata makes two number patterns to compare the cost great ordered pairs in the form small nachos then super nachos which ordered pairs could be on mr licata's list so i'm going to start with uh zero and zero now i'm just going to go down so five for one of those nine ten eighteen Fifteen, twenty seven, twenty, thirty six, twenty five, forty five. So fifteen, twenty seven is on the list right there. So that's good. Fifty four. So that one is the X coordinate is higher. So that's not going to be a good answer. Ten, twenty seven. That's two and three so that's not going to work 25 and 45 that's a good answer and 20 and 36 is a good answer as well both times four so we have three good answers on that one mr ken's building a fence and planning side using the coordinate plane shown what is the perimeter so first thing i need to do is find the distance from d to c so that'd be one, two, three, four units. So my other side would be four. So B to C, you also I could have also done seven minus three as four. So I can do eight minus one is seven. Or if you just want to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So perimeter. So I'm going to do perimeter equals seven plus four plus seven plus four. Or you can use another uh, formula. Some of them like you use seven plus four and multiply that by two. So that's 11 times two is 22. And that would be perimeter. is 22 units I also need to find the area so that's just multiplying length times width and that would be units squared so if you want to count up all the boxes we get 28 Candy store. Uh, small bag costs two dollars. Large bag costs three dollars. Mister Dessal makes a table to compare the cost of the two types of candy. Use the table to solve the problems in part A and part B. So we need to label the. So we need to label the x and y axis according to the origin pair in the table. So. Uh, for X, that's going to be cost of small bags. So I'm going to put cost of small bags in dollars. And Y is the cost of large bags in dollars. Graph the ordered pairs on the table. So I'm going to start off. With ordered pair zero zero. Put a dot there. Two three go over two. There's not a y coordinate for three, but I know it's in between two and four, so I'm just going to put it there. Four and six, and then six and nine. There's again, there's not another one for nine, but I know it's between eight and ten. So I'm going to graph it there. So another question that they sometimes have is, what would the eighth one be? So if there was an eight, uh, 
so that'd be 12, 8, and 12. So that would be my th next term if the ask. What would the next term be? Okay. Next is describe the relationship between the corresponding terms and the two values. So I know that if I take, I'll start with six. Six times one is six, so it's greater than one. The relationship, six times two is 12. So I know it's in between one and two. So let's try half. Half of six is three. And so if I add that to one times six, so six plus three is nine. So I know it's gonna be one and a half. So, uh, I, you can put pattern or, um, we don't have to put pattern. We can just put, um, sure we'll put pattern. Pattern Y is one and a half times or you can just put y. y is one and a half times the corresponding term is one and a half times the corresponding term x. Or you can put pattern y is one, it doesn't matter either way. Look at the coordinate plane to the right. What statement? Circle all the correct statements. X coordinate of U is 3. So X for U is 3, so that is correct. The X coordinate for V is two. Well, V would be, the X coordinate for V would be six. So that's false. Point W and V. So we're looking at these two right here. Have the same X coordinate. And that's a zero and a six. So that's false. They have the same Y coordinate, which would be two, but not the same X coordinate. The Y coordinate for point T is six. The Y for T, so T would be two, six, so that is correct. Point T and V, T and V, well, they're not gonna have any of the same coordinates because that'd be two, six, oh, and six, two, so they're uh, opposite, so. And the last question says, Decide if each expression represents one-fourth the sum of 20 and four. Circle all correct expressions. So we're looking for the sum first. And then taking a fourth of it. So it could be written like that. It could be a couple different ways. But so let's look at our choices over here. 20 plus four. So you're taking one-fourth times 20 first. So uh, if I did that, it's going to give me one fourth of 20 is five, five plus four is nine. And that is not going to be correct. One fourth of, of 20 is five and one fourth of four is one, so that'd be six, that is correct, because that'd be the same answer as this, 24 divided by four is six. So this is a good expression. One fourth of 20 is five, five plus four is nine, so not a good expression. Five, 20 plus four is 24, 24 times a fourth is six, so that is a correct expression. So that's it. Good luck.